the half life for radioactive decay of carbon 14 is 5730 years. The half life of carbon 14 is given. Let us find out the rate constant. The relation between rate constant and half life is given by the equation k is a rate constant is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half. t half is the symbol of half life. Its value is given here. We can plug in and find out the rate constant. 0 0.693 divided by a t half value is 5730 and unit is years. We mentioned unit year. You can divide 0 0.693 by 5730. You will get 0 0.00012 and it is per year. We mentioned per year. We write this value in scientific notation. We move this decimal after 1, you will get 1.2 multiplied by. Since we move this decimal on right side after 4 digits, then you will get 10 to power minus 4 per year. This is the rate constant for the decay of carbon 14. Well, the question says an archaeological artifact containing wood had only 80 percent of carbon 14 found in a living tree. Consider the initial amount of carbon 14 is 100 and the 80 percent is the existing or the remaining amount of carbon 14 in a living tree. We, la uh, we label it final amount of carbon 14 that is 80. Initial and final amount and the rate constant of the carbon 14 decay is given here and the question says calculate the age, age means time is unknown of the sample. We apply the formula t is equal to 2.303 divided by k, k is rate constant log base 10 bracket initial amount divided by final amount. This formula is also used for the first order of reaction. K, I, F values are known, we can plug in and find out the age of the sample. 2.303 divided by k value is we have determined that is 1.2 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and unit is per year. Log brackets i is 100 and f that is final amount 80. You can cancel 0 0 divided 10 by 8 here you will get 1.25. Well u e divided 2.303 by 1.2 you will get 1.92. 1.92 I get this value after rounding of the figures. Here we have 1.92 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 is given as a denominator. If it goes up as a numerator, you will have 10 to power 4 positive exponent. And log of 1.25 is equal to 0 0.0969. And so per year is given as a denominator. If it goes up as a numerator, you will have years. Well, you can multiply these two numbers. The value you will get at 0 0.18. 60 and it is uh, this value we also plug in here 10 to power 4 and unit is years. Well, we write this value in scientific notation move this decimal after 0 you get 1860 since we move this decimal uh, uh, after 4 digits on the right side. Well, here you will have 10 to power minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 both are same and opposite exponents over same base we cancel out both then the final value we get 1860 unit is years. This is the age of the sample.